Welcome back, folks, to Coral's Reef. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing pretty good. We're back at the tank, and everybody's doing happy. And everybody's doing fine in this tank. This is my purple tang. He is swimming around doing nothing. Firefish, Gobi. He's just hanging out, lonely. And you can smell other Goby I have down here. The meringue. If you guys know the proper name of this Goby, leave a comment below. Let me know. But this is a beautiful one there. I just got them like a couple weeks ago from the fish store. Believe it or not, the guy sold it to me for 40 bucks. And you can see my tank is not cloudy today. Not cloudy. This Gobi, Diamond Gobi, is not making a mess today. He's behaving amazing. Very surprised that he's behaving. But I want to tell you a little trick for what I'm using in my tank to keep my corals looking as good as it's looking right now. I mean, these corals are healthy, they're looking good. And they're kicking it. I want to still tell you guys the trick I'm using. And I'm, I, I believe that it's part of it. Because before I use, I didn't use, before, before I start using it, my corals in my other tank wasn't really doing that great. As these corals in this tank's doing really good. So what I'm using, I'm using Miracle Mud in my sump. You can see right down here, in, in this chamber here, the refugium chamber, I have Miracle Mud down there. And there's about five pounds of Miracle Mud. And I'm, I'm a believer in this. I think that this really is helping my tank and my corals looking as good as it possibly can in an aquarium. So like I said before, I'll, in my 29 gallon tank, I was not using Miracle Mud. And my corals was not looking at its greatest, like it's now. But using this Miracle Mud, it really, I believe it helps. And what I'll do with this Miracle Mud, once a year, I'll go in there and move the rocks. I'll take half of that Miracle Mud out and dump on the, a five pound bag in there and have it and replenish it with five pounds of miracle mud in this tank and I'll do that once a year and I I believe it's it, it helps the corals a lot the miracle mud so let me know guys if you, you ever use miracle mud what's your experience with miracle mud did your tank improve didn't improve then should no, no Results, you know, I'd like to hear from you guys. What well, if you guys ever experienced Miracle Mud and and how you how your aquarium and your corals um, react to it? So leave it in the comment below. And I'd like to know your input about this Miracle Mud. If you guys like it, but I've been using it now. I don't know. I gotta say about maybe three years. And these corals are looking happy. And this goby, he's just staring out. So that's a little update on my tank. Just to let you know, guys know what I'm using inside my tank to get my tank looking as good as possible. And I believe that Miracle Mud is the trick. And that's why my tank's looking this good. So I'd like to know your feedback. Let me know what you guys are using in your sump to get your aquarium, um, get your corals growing. Like I'm trying to get my corals growing. I'm trying to grow out this 90 gallon tank. Like I said, when I get the bigger tank, these corals will stay in here and I'm gonna be adding more corals. This tank here will be a 90 gallon coral tank. No fish. Be all corals in this and my bigger Three, four hundred gallon aquarium that I'm getting in a couple months is going to be a mix corals and fish. 
All right, folks, leave a comment below. Let me know your input, your input on this Miracle Mud, what you guys think about it, if you guys ever tried it. And I'd like to hear, get some feedback from you guys out there and gals out there. All right, folks, please like, subscribe, and have a great day.